WooCommerce is fantastic. It enables us to have an e-commerce store and it's so flexible that we can practically do anything with it. The bad part about it is that when we keep on adding these features and add plugins, well, it gets slower and slower. But we hit that shocking point where we need these features to sell more, like a social proof system, a live chat, a license manager, and a lot of things that we might use for WooCommerce. But we need also an optimization plugin, and that's where this video comes in. Now, if you decide to jump on the free version, then you're good to go. But if you want the paid version, I'll be leaving a 10% discount coupon code on this video description. So let's go check this out. The plugin that we are going to use to optimize WooCommerce is called 10 Web Booster, and they have a free plan available in case you want to check it out. We are going to check out the paid plan to show you the page speed difference. Now, the website that I loaded for testing is this one. This is just a demo site that I created, and I already made a page speed test for Google Page Speed. On mobile, it's awful. I mean, it's terrible. It has a lot of things that it needs to tweak to become better. Now, it doesn't mean that it's slow, but it means that it's not compliant with what Google is actually looking for. And on desktop, it did pretty good, 94%. So that's pretty good, but on mobile, it's awful. And I also tested it in GT Metrics. We got a score of B, and the speed was 3.9 seconds, which is almost four seconds. Now, that's pretty bad because, I mean, sites should be loading less than 1.5 seconds. I mean, I have sites that load in half a second, so that's 500 milliseconds. Now, let's get started with installing 10 Web Booster. So let me head on over to my back end of my WordPress site. There we go. Let's go into the plugins, add new. And this is the first time I'm going to install it and we're going to see the effects of it. So 10 Web Booster. There we go, it's this one right here. Let's go ahead and install it. Okay, it's installed. Let's go ahead and activate it. And it's gonna ask us to log into 10 Web to sign up and connect. If you're not signed up, it's gonna, you're gonna click on here, sign up first. I'm already logged in, so it should accept the site. Okay, so now it's analyzing the website. So it's a current score, optimizing the front end and calculating the new score. Now be aware that this might take a while. So it's not like you just install it and you're gonna be seeing the best effects. You will see changes and improvements, but it will be getting better and better because it keeps on, it's going to cache files, it's gonna use the CDN, and it's gonna do a lot of tweaking along with time, all right? So let's wait for this to finish. There we go, it just loaded. So the original score on desktop score, remember, it's kind of similar to what we had. We showed a 94, it's 95 right now. The mobile score reduced one point, so it's 44% and 6.2 seconds load time, which is terrible, especially in the phone. I mean, people wanna view that immediately. And the optimized score, so on the desktop, it dropped two as of now, but the load time is 0.7 seconds. So it made it faster. And for mobile score, 79, so that's a big improvement, and it reduced the load time to 2.3 seconds. Let's go ahead and explore 10 Web Booster. Now, once we start using this, there's several settings available here that we can tweak. So for example, we can go ahead and reanalyze right now, which we won't do right now, but we have the amount of mm, booster power that we want to enable. So there's a standard one, which is standard techniques. There's the standard plus critical CSS, standard plus JS delay, and all the techniques. So extreme would be, it's gonna pull on the full power and start optimizing the best it can. Be aware that doing this might change the look of your site. So you have to add this and go ahead and test it. Make sure that everything's looking fine and works great. So for example, try logging in, try and going to shopping cart and all of that and making sure that your WooCommerce site is working okay. Okay, so right now optimization level is extreme. Then we have the image optimizer, okay? So there's 50 images to optimize and it's ready for optimizing. Now we're, we already are getting good scores and we haven't even started optimizing images. Now let me go ahead and retest this for you because I wanna show you. Now that was the old score, this is going to be the new one. Okay, so we got that score, 80, and desktop, 97. So it was improved greatly from what it was. It almost went twice as it was before. It was 44, 45, something like that, and now it's 80. And for GT metrics, remember we had 3.9 seconds and we got a score of B, 91 performance and 72 on structured data. So let's retest it. Remember, we just enabled the plugin and it's 
by default an extreme. We haven't done anything else. We haven't tweaked anything else with that plugin. So just by installing that, we are optimizing the WooCommerce site. I mean, just by installing it. So we're getting good results. Okay, so now we're getting an A score, 88 performance, and 96 structure, and it's loading 1.4 seconds. So that's a big improvement. Let me go check it out just in case there's something moved. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, everything is fine. Yep, working fine. Okay, so we are getting better scores. Now, we can optimize the images. We can do auto optimization. So automatically optimize images uploaded to the media library. So if we enable this and we start uploading new products, we start doing new things, it's gonna optimize the image automatically, which is good. There's also the server configuration recommended to surf with P. Right now it's inactive. It's successful. Let's go ahead and optimize. I think we're gonna have to give it a couple minutes for this and it looks like it's not active, this one, the server configuration. So I need to add this block before the server directive if I want to enable this. I'm not gonna do it right now, but that's going to optimize the images. Next, we have the settings for this, which is if I want to enable test mode, temporarily disable 10 web booster for website visitors. So if you don't want the visitors to feel the power of the booster of 10 web, we can disable that for test mode in case we wanna check something for it. Um, website cache, yes, this is really good. That means it's gonna load files faster that it knows people are going to need when they go to your site. And we can clear the cache for this. Now, clear cache is good when you need to uh, refresh the site. So if you add and enable new plugins, new systems, if you make some changes on your site, clearing cache is a good idea. So it loads in the new files, okay? And then we have the custom rules. So in custom rules, if you need to disable in some certain situations, you can use this. So you can add it to the list. So for example, customize or um, op for example, customize or manage the optimization modes of specific pages of your website. Add them to the list and choose the most suitable configuration. So for example, if I need to optimize a certain page, let me go to a page, for example. Da -da -da. I'll go to this thing right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab this link. I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna add it, add to the list. There we go, so I created a page rule for this. Now you can see that I have a different situation here. I can turn it off for this specific page. Oh, it's refreshing. But the idea is to turn it off in that specific page or change the status to something less extreme. Why? Because you might need to fix it because it broke some part of your site. That is possible. You can turn it off, stream mode, strong mode, balance, or standard mode. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, once you install this, check your site. Check that everything's working fine, that the flow is working correctly. And you have all those options available there. And I can go ahead and remove it, and I will, because I do want it optimized. Let me see if the image optimization, optimization finished. Okay, here we go. Optimize all images and website. So they're done. There's been a reduction of total of 447 kilobits. So that means that the, the images are optimized already. The only bad side is that I'll need to tweak this in the server side, but it's already doing a lot of improvements on this. So let's go ahead and reanalyze this. But you can see right here, there's been an improvement of 180% on our WooCommerce site. So let's wait for those scores to come in. There we go, we're getting new scores. So mobile score and desktop score. So it's, it's moving there, it's doing its job, it's working. Like I said, it will take some time for this to improve even more. Now, that's for the part of the front end, okay? Now, if you're on the paid plan, you're going to have options like hosting performance. Now, this is going to migrate and optimize. If you want to use this part of the booster, then you need to have jump into the paid plan, which is basically going to load for you the files on like super speed because it's using a Google Cloud power partner plus CDN. You have the uptime guarantee. So it's going to migrate all the files there and it's going to start loading with them. That's going to make it even boost even more. But just like that, I mean, you were able to notice a big improvement just by installing this plugin. And like I said, if you give it some time, once the cache plugin starts kicking in and loading the files that it needs to load um, faster, then it's going to be even better and the score is going to be going up and up until you have a great score. But there you go. That is 10 Web Booster, and this is a great plugin to optimize WooCommerce stores to make them faster. Well, thank you all for watching, and that's a wrap.